Namaste. Morning. So this is the class application for the Surya Bidan lesson we had last time. So sitting tall, you may cup your hands or place them on your knees, which technique is more comfortable for you, and then find a breath. Inspiring the breath in. Listen to the sound of that inhalation light and hissing as the air passes through the walls of the nostrils, down the chest and your lungs, and then suspend mildly inside, lifting your optic nerves, you might click or cramp your forehead, and exhale, relax your forehead, you hear your breath, listen to its humming, vibration, and a moment of stillness at the bottom. Now find your rhythm now. Any tight spots, feel free to adjust mildly, but keep most of your awareness to your breath. And then let's have my vibration first, chanting the Om, just once, breathing in. So at bedtime practice, you might place your right hand on top of your right knee, prepare in the mudra. Thumb of your left hand blocks the left nostril. You might close the index and the middle finger, breathing in, pull the throat back and up. And stay three, two, one. Ring finger blocks the right side, exhale through the left. You don't have to hold the bottom, just a mild retention. Closing the left, inhale through the right side. And staying three, two, one. Pull back the throat, close the right, exhale completely out the left. One more together, breathing in, you might lightly shift forward and up. And stay, thousand three, two, one, exhale through the left. Right, now I want you to find your rhythm now, practice on your own. Just relax your eyes behind your eyelids. You don't have to look. Just keep going. Exploring the possibilities of retaining the breath inside longer. But don't strain, just as long as you can sustain the pressure inside your chest.
just press firmly. You want that vacuum inside. When you exhale, you might loosen your left shoulder. Keep going. Encourage your spine to lift taller. Close the throat lightly to your chest and then pull back the roof of your mouth towards the back of your skull and loop your skull forward as you nod the head low. If the shoulders fatigue, you might cup your elbow. You may release the throat seal as you exhale. Feel free to move the neck around. Just keep going, you just keep your eyes closed, keep practicing. Finish your next one. You might be retaining now, and we're doing it together. Thousand four, thousand three, thousand two, thousand one. Lightly pull the throat back and up. Exhale for the left. And we do three times without retention. So just flow the breath in through your right side. And out through your left side. Inhale through your right side. Out through your left. You feel that? When you inspire the breath, like the air pierces through your left channel. 
And then the outer brass, the left side, soften. All right, one more. I'm breathing in, right side. Breathe out to the left. All right, free your hand. Now, inspire now, abundantly, both sides. Exhale, both sides. And just rest your body to a stillness. You may place your hands on your knees or cup them close to your hips. Just following the sound of the bell and let the chime dissolve inside the brain. Notice the ringing sound, more dominant inside your left hemisphere. back to your breath. Yeah, why so? You know, why do we hear the sound more dominantly on the left hemisphere? Yeah. Since we've um, just breathed through the right side, so this is more open. Yeah. So the awareness, the, the right side is open, yeah. and the left side, since that side will remain closed during the practice, now the, the vibration pierces through those yes, spaces inside the left hemisphere. Right. So it's a good indication of a successful Surya Bedan practice. So after Surya Bedan, like the right side is so clear and bright, like empty, really. Yeah. And the left side is more active. Yeah. Because the left side dominantly, predominantly, is less active. All right. And then when the left side is less active, I mean it's not uh, as energetic, it's not as uh, dynamic as the right side. It could affect a uh, physical state, like we become sluggish, sometimes lazy, procrastinating, and our mental state um, becomes, I'd say, low too. So by opening the right side, we increase the energy levels. And that way, you know, so we allow the left channel to catch up to the energy of the right side. Good. So inhale, the hands over the head. And you may lightly say this, side to side. You know, feel free to stretch the shoulder and lean back and change and circle around. Good. You may bend and stretch the elbows like this and circle the wrist. Yeah. Good. Then shake the arms out. Roll the shoulders. And stretching the legs in front. Yeah, you may do a forward bend uh, away from the hips. Yeah, and then shifting away side to side. And then lean back if you're doing it on a chair. Yeah, so you might just hang uh, over. Yeah. And just move them side to side. Beautiful. Good. Yeah. Hands to your chest. And exhale, bow the heads down. Yeah, namaste to you. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, hopefully this one helps you yeah, sustain yeah, the practice of this wonderful you know, morning yeah, tradition, Surya Bedan. Yeah, let me know if you have questions. 
Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Bye.